Hi, my name is Bjergsen from Team Solo Mid. This is my basic champion guide to Fizz. Fizz is definitely strong at solo queue. Fizz has always been a good solo queue champion just because he has such scary burst and high kill potential on your lane, and he's a good roamer, and he's good at snowballing the game. Once Fizz is fed, he's good at everything. He's good in team fights, split pushing, picking, just a super strong champion overall. If he does fall behind though, he is weak, but in solo queue, if you can outplay your opponent, it's fairly easy to consistently get ahead. Fizz early laning is definitely not the best. Uh, the big goal is trying to get Sheen as early as possible, and if you can't get Sheen, you're going to have to delay it by quite a bit by buying some Doran's Rings or an Amp Tome or something, because just getting the Sapphire Crystal towards Sheen is, it doesn't benefit your laning phase at all. Once you do get Sheen in 6 though, Fizz has really high kill potential in almost any matchup, and that's where he truly shines. Uh, a good rule is every time your ult is up, you should look for some kind of play uh, past early mid game. Either it's a roam or a kill on mid, um, there's always opportunities to make plays with Fizz ultimate. Fizz team fights are almost always about dispersing that one target, whether it's a bruiser or a carry, you just need to find a target that you can kill and still be able to live and get out afterwards. Uh, because Fizz is a champion that's really good at bursting, but he is also really good in long fights because his cooldowns are so low and he can constantly proc glitch me and just go off in a team fight. So I usually aim to either kill one of the squishy bruisers or one of the carries and then look to live after using either Zhonya's or just using playful trickster to get out. A really useful tip for Fizz to have the game is when you're queuing someone, you can alt in your queue animation if you hold your cursor on top of your target. Um, this can be countered by him flashing at the exact right moment, but the same thing is if you throw your ult at him and he just flashes it, it works just the same. But Q and then R mid animation on top of him has a really high chance of hitting and it works almost every time. A really basic tip, yet super important, is being able to do the E flash on Fizz. Uh, just Eing and then as you're dropping down, you flash on a target or whoever you want to kill. Uh, it is a really basic combo, it's actually easy to pull off once you have some practice on it in a custom game or in an actual game. But once you get a hang of it, this is going to net you a lot of kills and is a big reason of why you go flash on Fizz. A good thing to know about Fizz in the Season 6 preseason or a season overall is that his Q counts as 2 attacks for the Thunderlord's Decree, which is already 2 out of 3, and then his dot counts as 1 as well. So. Every time you Q someone with your W, w active, you always instantly proc down the Lord's Decree for a strong trade, so keep that in mind. For Fizz runes, I go with the really standard Magic Pen Reds, HP Scaling Yellows, CDR Scaling Blues, and AP Quints. Uh, even though it makes his laning phase a bit rougher, not going flat MR Blues, uh, the CDR definitely pays off later. It just makes Fizz really slippery in team fights. For Masteries on Fizz, I like to go 12 18 0. Just the 18 in the Ferocity Tree gives you a ton of damage, and even though I don't like to go natural talent on a lot of champions, Fizz does use attack damage to some degree using his Q and his auto attacks in between his ultimate. Um, just make sure you get Thunderlord's Decree and Dangerous Game because those are the most important, and even though these Masteries overall make Fizz a bit squishier than he did with the old Masteries, it gives him a lot more damage, which means he's a lot scarier to lane against and just throughout the game. For skill order and fizz, you usually go E or Q level 1. Q is mostly for easy melee matchups like cast in early game, but generally you want to be going E into W and Q at level 3. Um, after that, you always max E into Q because those are the two abilities that make fizz the most slippery, and they also, at the lower cooldown, helps him proc Lich Bane, which is going to be one of your core items every game. For fizz item build, I'm always starting with the corruption potion now. Because even though Corruption Potion is not that much stronger than the Doran Ring early game, it just provides you with pots throughout the game. And since Fizz is a melee champion, he's going to need a lot of potions. And just always having three every time you back is a big help, especially for building other items. Uh, after that, I always go either Abyssal or Lich Rain as my first item. Abyssal if I'm in a hard magic damage matchup or they have a lot of magic damage on their team. And Lich Rain is a normal core. After that, you want to go for the CDR boots of Lucidity and then look for items like Abyssal, Zhonya's, Deathcap, or Void Staff uh, for damage. Thanks for watching my Fizz Guide. Make sure to check out the rest of my guides at lawclass.com.